Kill. Kill. <laughs> Uh-oh, watch out, Q. Watch out, they're coming for you. The FBI is on your ass. The FBI is on your ass, declaring QAnon a domestic terrorist threat. <laughs> Holy shit. Damn, I hope it's nothing I said, man. I hope it's fucking nothing that I was saying all along, man. This fucking shit is crazy. Rolling Stone, the FBI declared QAnon a domestic terrorism threat. And conspiracy theorists are psyched. <laughs> are you guys? Is QAnon psyched? An internal FBI memo classified QAnon and other conspiracy theories as a threat. Damn, and, move, and the move could make them stronger. Hmm, yeah, probably. I mean, yeah, the, the crazier the better, right? That's, that's what QAnon's all about. Right? So, so uh, it's very interesting because I've been following. I thought it had something to do with uh, this guy. Remember Anthony Camillo, the QAnon killer? QAnon, QAnon killer. I killed him. I killed him. There's his hand. You remember his hand in court? MAGA forever. MAGA forever. United we stand. Oh, damn. This shit is getting real now. Man. This is the guy he kills. This is Frankie Cali. Watch out, man. Frankie Cali is a mob guy, man. It's fucking, this from my hood, man. This guy's not fucking around. You think you you think you're you think you got you think Q you think you guys think you got a problem with with fucking the FBI? <laughs> oh, the Italians are gonna get you, man. So, in seriousness, right? <laughs> so QAnon believers have had a had a rough summer. <laughs> July Fourth rally. When many believe that JFK Jr. would emerge from the from hiding to claim his rightful role as Trump's running mate, came and went. <laughs> you guys believe that shit? That July Fourth, that JFK was gonna Jr. was gonna rise from the dead, and and he was. That's crazy shit, man. That is crazy shit, man. So did July thirty first, the projection of the D class. Oh, the fucking D class came and went. Or the moment when the community believed that declassification documents pointed to the deep state corruption would finally be dropped. <laughs> now, in what is perhaps the ultimate example of kicking someone while they're down, Yahoo News published a 15-page internal memo from the FBI declaring conspiracy theories a domestic terrorism threat. Oh, that's pretty heavy, man. This is some shit. This is some heavy shit, man. So here's the document. I'm not going to read it. It's fucking 15 too many. It's 15 pages too many. But it's it says, and we'll, we'll let uh, the Ro Rolling Stone article summarize for us, but the anti-government identity based the fringe political conspiracy theory very likely motive motivate some domestic extremists to commit criminal, sometimes violent acts. Well, in the case of Anthony Camillo, it was a violent act. He took a gun out and shot the guy 11 times, unloaded 12 bullets, and sh hit the guy 11 times with a bullet at point-blank range. That's pretty goddamn violent. It's about as violent as you can get, right, point-blank. But uh, it says here that Camillo wasn't, in, wasn't named in that 15 pages. So let's, let's read a little more. Distributed on May 30th, the memo from the Bureau's Phoenix office, Phoenix, Arizona office, notes that it is the first report of its kind to take aim at the conspiracy-driven domestic terrorism. Wow. Citing a number of violent incidences the Bureau believes were linked to conspiracy theories. The FBI assesses these conspiracy theories very likely will emerge, spread, and evolve in modern information marketplace, occasionally driving both groups and individual extremists to carry out criminal or violent acts. The document says, oh, I think it's a good investigation. I mean, although the memo lists a number of such theories, including Pizzagate and the conspiracy surrounding Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting, it pays particular notice to QAnon. <sighs> With a wide ranging and extremely non evidence based theory suggesting that Hillary Clinton and other high ranking Democratic officials are engaged in child sex trafficking rings. And that President Trump will one day arrest them and send them to Guantanamo Bay. Q 
QAnon followers also believe that Mueller report was a smokescreen for Mueller and Trump's secret investigation into the domestic officials and other global elites, while origin, originating, originating from the smaller corners of the internet, such as anonymous message, message boards, such as Q, uh, 4chan. The theory has gained traction in mainstream, uh, mainstream thanks to prominent um, prominence like Roseanne Barr publicly endorsing it, as well as Trump himself retweeting a QAnon-related account earlier this week. The FBI memo cites at least two violent incidences or attempts purportedly linked to QAnon. An Arizona man harassed and doxed locals he suspected of participating in child sex trafficking ring at the heart of the conspiracy theory. And the Nevada man at the, the Hoover Dam whose truck was found to contain rifles and other ammunition, uh, who was later discovered to have sent uh, letters to Trump referring to the movement. It does not cite the case of a, a QAnon believer, Anthony Camillo, a Staten Island man who allegedly fatally, allegedly, no, he did, fatally shot mafia boss Frankie Cali because he believed he was a member of the deep state. So... I don't know. I mean, it's still in play, right? Is is Camillo? He's sitting in jail. His lawyer is screaming up and down. He's got a, a, a whole computer full of documents of Anthony Camillo communicating with the Q guy, uh, co- communi- not communicating with Q guy, but 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 following Q. Thousands of of entries of him following Q on message boards. Right. So that's pretty heavy stuff, man. It's pretty heavy. Watch out, Q. There's also some speculation that Q is being sued. Well, that's interesting, but I don't trust the players that are suing them. I, I, I know I know it's uh, AON, the, the, that Pesojak guy, Peso, Peso, Pesujic, whatever the fuck his name is. Guys, those guys are not, they're not credible. None of those guys are credible. None of those guys are credible. They're the same creeps that start theories like this. So they're not credible. But it would be interesting if the FBI does go after the true identity of QAnon, finally. <laughs> Let the FBI do it. That's what they're supposed to do, right? Why do you got to fucking sue? Just get, get the FBI to find out who Q is, and let's find out, you know, and, and, and see what it is, right? Let's, because, look, it's like a religion. Q is like a religion. If Q, if Q is not connected to the Father, if, Q, if, if it turns out that Q is not godly and connected to, the, to Father Trump, then it's just a bullshit theory. It's as if it's, it's, it's the equivalent of saying Jesus Christ is not divine. Jesus Christ did not rise from the dead. Now, if that, if that is proven, then there is the Christian religion is over, right? That the, the basis of the religion is based on divine power, a, 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 a um, immaculate conception of sorts. QAnon is very similar in that QAnon is based on a the theory that the the no the not not even a theory it's based on the assumption that QAnon is deep state is Trump is communicating from the White House. Now, if the FBI investigates that and finds out that that's not true, guess what, guys? You've been had. You've officially been had. Now, here's the other thing. Do we trust the FBI in any of this? Is it a, is it a play to shut down uh, internet chat? Well, it could be. It could very well be used to do that. And that is a problem. That is a, should be a concern. But listen, man, you get what you, you know, look, QAnon, QAnon grabbed the attention of many, many, many people. Many, many internet people followed Q. Many prominent names that followed and still follow and still promote Q. Uh, so is there, I don't know if you're guilty of something, but you're certainly, you're certainly uh, involved in you know, propagating a theory that, 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 that the President of the United States is communicating directly to you on a Japanese chat board. Uh, and, and a lot of people fell for this, you know, fell for this thing. So, so that's, that's the story, really. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to add about it other than to just, you know, follow it. So the FBI is on you guys, man. Watch out, Q. Q, they're coming to get you, Q. They're coming to get you.
I wonder why they left Camillo off the list. Maybe they're waiting, uh, you know, uh, innocent until proven guilty. Uh, so, I mean, the, the I guess those documents haven't been released by the prosecutors in Staten Island or the lawyer or uh, the, you know, I, I don't know who else, who else would, would be able to do that. But it certainly seems to be, at this time, Arizona-based. So we'll see. We'll see how this pans out, man. It's just, it's, it's, it's inevitable, right? It's inevitable. I, I would like to, you see how you guys now interfere with elections because now, now when, when, when uh, electoral season really rolls up and they start shutting down boards, you can blame Q for that because I don't know if you can blame Q for that. All I know is that it is a rat, in my view, Q is, has the potential to radicalize people not so much the violent part of it. That seems to be scattered and not so prevalent, not as prevalent as the simple gaslighting effect that Q has, where it causes people not to act on their own, you know, using their own common sense. They gaslit to believe that just don't do anything. Don't do anything. I know you're pissed off that Trump isn't doing anything, but it's coming. And that's the, that's the, greatest, the greatest effect that that Q has. Now, is there an interest in making that go away? Not, I don't know, not for, not for Trump. Trump would like to see it go on forever because it, it, it pacifies his crowd to just shh and wait, shush and wait. Now, the FBI will, could use that to say, I don't know, they'll, they'll accuse uh, you know, the Bernie Sanders crowd. When that, when, that, when that bee's nest starts to evolve again, when the progressives start to come together again and start fighting amongst each other, when they come together and the, and the bees buzz, they'll say, oh, no, that's a conspiracy theory. That is, uh, that, oh, look, see, look, look what it is. It's a, uh, it's, it's a domestic terrorism threat. That's what the FBI is going to do. So if they gain precedence, precedence in QAnon conspiracy, they could use that on Facebook and, and uh, you know, I don't know. It's not a good thing, but it doesn't, it doesn't change the fact that you have to go after you have to go after QAnon for what it is. It's a gaslighting operation, a psyop of some sort. Seems to be fairly well funded, well executed. They've maintained their secrecy all this time. So we shall see. We shall see. It's now out there. Marks Conte reporting. Become a Patreon of this channel. Make a one-time contribution uh, at PayPal. This is how I do it. This is it. There's no. These, these videos are demonetized, no commercials, commercial-free internet based on the fact that if you tell the truth, YouTube will not let you make money. So uh, I rely on you, the Patreons of this channel, people that buy stickers and make one-time contributions uh, via PayPal. Marcus Conti reporting.